guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today is going to be my apartment searching video, which I'm so excited to share with you guys all the different apartments that I toured. I went and toured apartments in Tampa because that's where I'm going to be moving in just about two weeks here, which is so exciting. I knew once this lease was up that I didn't want to resign in Fort Lauderdale. I kind of came to that realization about two months ago just because it doesn't feel as safe as it did and also it doesn't feel like it did when I first originally like toured it. And it is very, very congested and busy and traffic is just like absolutely insane. So I didn't really wanna deal with that um, for another year or so. So I'm like, I'm gonna check out Tampa. Absolutely loved it. And so I have a whole video of when I spent the week in Tampa, which I can leave links down below for you guys when that is out. But today's gonna be all about the apartment search, the different buildings I toured and what I'm looking for in my next place. I'll also share prices because I know that's like a huge thing. I'm not gonna share exactly what the building's names were just for my own safety and privacy. But if any of you guys are watching this video and you are moving to Tampa and that's why you stumbled upon it, definitely reach out to me on like Instagram and I can totally share with you um, the names or like the address of the different buildings I toured if you really wanna see one or like one really stuck out to you. But before we get into the apartment tours, I wanted to share with you guys like my apartment non-negotiables for my next move because this is something that I definitely recommend is coming up with a list of non-negotiables for you and then like nice to haves because I did not do that when I originally moved to Florida. I was just wearing like rose colored glasses the whole time and thought I want a place that is nice looking a place with a lot of natural lighting and somewhere with a pool. Like that is all I really cared about. And now the second time around, I really got down to like the nitty gritty of what I wanted and it is a little bit high maintenance, but like if you're gonna pay the price, you might as well make it a high maintenance list. So I'll get into what my non-negotiables are. The first one was floor to ceiling windows. I really wanted like all of the natural light that I could get. So I made sure when I was doing my apartment search that pretty much all of the buildings had floor to ceiling windows that I was looking at. I wanted to stay under 2,700 and maybe go a little bit above if it was like my dream apartment. I did throw in some apartments in the search that were like out of my budget just to look at because I wanted to see, you know, if this was my dream apartment, I am willing to spend a little bit more money on that. Second thing was parking, whether that be like an underground garage or parking attached to the building, something that I could keep my car there. I didn't want street parking or anything like that. The next one was 24 seven concierge. This is huge for me because I am getting packages delivered a lot. And there's been so many times in this building that I live in right now where the packages were either lost or stolen and they were just like thrown into this room. So that is definitely like a huge thing for me and obviously like security and safety and all of that. And then the last one, which is a very nitty gritty, but I really wanted a walk-in shower. That was again, like a non-negotiable because I knew I was going to be paying a more premium price. If my budget was 2,700 or under, like that 2,700 mark, I would kind of expect like a walk-in shower. So that's my list of non-negotiables. And then for my nice to have list, I really would love an apartment that is on the sixth floor or above. It would be great to have a little bit of a view. That's not something that's gonna make or break my decision, but it's definitely gonna factor in to where I wanna be. And then a balcony would be nice. Also, I think like the last nice to have would be location. I'm not super picky about where it is. Again, with my apartment search, I did keep everything within like 10 or 15 minutes from downtown Tampa. If I find a place that's like right in downtown Tampa, that's amazing. If it's like super walkable, I would love that. Like walkable to a grocery store, whatever the case is. But if I do have to sacrifice location, like it's not gonna make or break a decision for me. So with those lists in mind, I'll show you guys the different apartments I toured and everything of that sort. So we'll start with apartment number one. This apartment was the first one I toured and immediately I fell in love with it. I just loved the different layouts that it had. I actually toured a few different floor plans in this building. This apartment is actually located right in downtown Tampa. The location with this was great. I absolutely loved where it was at. Super walkable to places, whether that was like a workout class, a grocery store, cute coffee shops, the location, like you couldn't beat it. The kitchen, absolutely stunning. It also has ceiling lights, which I really like with that because it brings in some more light. You can't tell in this specific unit because 
the one that he offered me was actually on the 19th floor which is crazy so it did have a little bit of a view he was showing me pictures on the phone and everything because we couldn't physically go see it since this is a brand new building and the amenities of this building were also very very nice i didn't get a chance to like take a video of them but we looked at the amenities so pretty the pool the fitness room everything and it just truly looked like a luxury apartment and that one was going for $25.80, so definitely a little more pricey. And then on top of that, you have like the amenity fee and the parking fee. So you're looking at paying about $2,800 a month for this unit. I actually looked at a couple different units within this building. So the next unit that I looked at was so gorgeous as well. The thing that um, I was really into with this one is that it had a wraparound balcony, which you can't see in this actual video right here. But he said that it was on the 17th floor and it again kind of went for that 25 80 price i don't know the exact number at the top of my head so i can have it for you guys but this would have been a little bit of a smaller unit i do like how there is a barn door attached to the bedroom the weird thing is that the closet is across the bedroom that kind of threw me off a little bit it is a little bit more of a smaller closet than what i have right now also it's nice that the kitchen is all along one side of the wall i don't have something like that so it's a little bit different and again, the floor to ceiling windows bring in so much light and the way that this unit would be facing, again, you can't tell in this apartment, but it would be facing the east side. So it would be getting lots of natural light throughout the day, which again is something that I really wanted. The next apartment I toured was definitely way out of my budget, but I just wanted to look at it to see if it would be worth that extra couple hundred dollars a month because the views it had were insane. And just the idea of it in my head was amazing so i went and toured it and honestly i was let down a little bit the amenities were great and everything the pool was absolutely stunning this rooftop pool i was like this is a dream so gorgeous but the unit itself was definitely very small it didn't have that luxury feel when i was walking into it so i kind of just immediately shut that down a little bit it didn't have a walk-in shower and i would have expected that with the price you pay for it i thought there would be a little bit more to it i thought Little things like the hardware of the cabinets or the finish of the cabinets would be a little more umph to it and there just really wasn't that. So there was no true it factor that necessarily sold me on this one, especially for that luxury price you would have paid. So I kind of just canceled that one out, but it is so gorgeous, you guys. Like, can you just see that view? Incredible. And it's like right by the arena, right in Channel Side in downtown. The orange theory is right there ideally the location was just incredible but i think that is truly what you're paying for for that apartment is the view and the actual like location of it the add-on fees too so the base of that apartment alone was like three thousand and then you add on all the extra stuff like parking and then the amenity fee application fee security deposit all of that and like basically you're paying a little over like three thousand two hundred per month and so immediately I like shut it down and I could have sworn they upped the prices before I toured it because I thought it was like 2700 like 2750 and then when I went and toured it it was like 3000 and I'm like this is not right so that was that building and then the next building I toured was like right next door they're actually owned by like the same management and similarly this one was also out of my budget but I just wanted to see it get a feel for it it had that very like bougie look and feel but let me tell you guys I was so let down when I got into that unit it was a tiny kitchen blown away by how boring it was truly like that sounds really sad to say but it was just like all gray and it felt just like drab in there and i don't know how to describe it keep in mind i was like touring these buildings around like mid-afternoon and it wasn't getting a lot of natural light and even though it had these beautiful tall floor to ceiling windows it wasn't bringing in like the light that i wanted and like that comfort cozy feel the bathroom also didn't have a lot of countertop space or storage for that matter and truly it just felt kind of like again you're paying for the looks and then the location with that one so i was definitely let down by it a little bit and also the amenities were nothing to like ride home about so truly i just immediately like crossed that one off the list that was like an immediate no because that one was running for i believe it was 29.40 and again that was the base rent so i was like all right glad i saw it but that's gonna be a no from me just wasn't really my like comfort cozy kind of feel this next apartment i looked at was actually the most affordable of all the options it was a little bit outside of downtown tampa about eight minutes so you don't have like the most incredible view we were on the sixth floor looking at this specific unit it got so much natural light which i appreciated 
and it had that homey type of feel. So felt very cozy at the kitchen with the navy blue and the white. I absolutely loved that. Same with the bathroom, the shower, like the all glass shower and the backsplash in the shower with the gold hardware. So freaking pretty. The walk-in closet, the bedroom. I just loved all the little things that this unit specifically had. The building in general, I was a little let down by the amenities. We took a look at the pool and it was pretty much all shaded over and we were looking around like 11 to noonish. So that was kind of a bummer. It wasn't getting like a lot of natural sunny light, especially for like where the pool would be located. You would think that would be the case. But yeah, overall this felt very comfy and cozy and obviously the price point was unbeatable for that unit. So loved that. And then the last apartment that I looked at, I actually don't have photos of it because I had to do it via FaceTime, but this one was so freaking gorgeous. Definitely sacrificing location with this one. It's about 15 to 20 minutes outside of downtown Tampa, kind of in its own little area. It has an absolutely stunning, I'm not even kidding you guys, this kitchen is gorgeous. I love everything about it, the hardware, the gold, the different colors it has going on. And it is so big too, like the living room area with the floor to ceiling windows. This has a balcony. It has a little bit of a view of the water. I don't know if you guys can quite see in this unit exactly. The one thing that's throwing me off a little bit, which is super picky with this one, is how there's the washer and dryer inside the closet. I haven't ever seen that before, but again, that's getting like really nitty gritty and picky with it. But yeah, this was a very, very cute and cozy looking apartment. The one bummer with this one is that I physically could not go see it for myself and like feel how it is kind of thing. Also, this is a brand new building too. They do have that 24 seven concierge. Again, all of these really do because that was like my non-negotiables with that. So I feel like I didn't really have to preface that in each little apartment tour. But yes, yeah, so this one, Brand new, beautiful amenities as well. I was sent photos of the amenities and like the blueprints of what they're supposed to look like. And yeah, the only bummer with this one is that I didn't get to see it in real life and also definitely sacrificing a bit of location for it because it's about 15 minutes from like Hyde Park and downtown Tampa, Channel Side, all of that. But overall, super cute and cozy. So that wraps up the entire apartment tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you're moving to Tampa and this helps give you some insight of what to look for or what to think about for your next apartment. Even if you're just moving in general, I love watching these kind of videos because it helps me of things that I should like look for and just be weary of when apartment searching. So I love you guys. Definitely make sure to leave um, comments down below of what apartment you think I chose. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.